one of the most important things you can do if you're going to be using voice over IP in Adobe Connect is to adjust your performance settings to match your specific microphone and background. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to go to the meeting menu, select manage my settings, and then audio setup wizard. I recommend that you run this wizard every time you get ready to have a meeting. It will fine-tune the audio setup and make sure that your participants can hear reasonably well. And it steps you through the process, so we're just going to go next. And it will allow us to test our sound output, and if I click this button, my speakers are working, so I can go next. And here I can select my microphone. If you're working on a computer that has several possible inputs or uh, microphones that have been hooked up to it or are currently hooked up to it, you can use the drop down here to select. And you can see here I have two choices. One is the Sennheiser USB headset, which I'm currently using. There's the built-in uh, Sound Blaster audio card that I could use if I wanted to plug in a microphone there. But we select the one I'm currently using, and I go Next. And now I'm going to tune the microphone by recording a small little snippet of a sentence. And it's going to ask me if I want to allow Breeze or Adobe Connect to have access to my computer. If I deny that, uh, nothing will be pushed out from my computer to the server, so we have to allow that. So I click Allow. And we're recording now, and you can see that it's kind of maxing out, but if I speak more reasonably, it bounces up and down, then I can stop and play that back. And so that is the process of actually tuning the microphone. If I press play here and I don't hear anything, uh, I have an issue. And uh, sometimes these issues can be caused by the uh, operating system choosing something other than what you want. If you do encounter that, I would recommend that you go to the control panel. Uh, in Windows here, it is the control panel, so I select that from my start menu. I open up the control panel and I look at the sound and audio devices. And you can see here, we're looking for voice. And my voice recording is set to be the USB headset. Now, you can see that there are additional choices here, and it's possible doesn't happen that often, but does happen on occasion where a different device will be selected here and that will prevent uh, Connect from actually effectively working with your computer. Uh, if you notice the volume is a little too, too quiet, you can select the volume here and you can see that uh, this currently is set at maximum volume. If my volume were too loud, if it were um, topping out at certain points, I could certainly adjust that by adjusting the slider here, which would then control the audio input for Connect. But Everything looks fine there. Um, we're just going to exit out of this for now then. And I strongly recommend you do this at least 20 minutes to a half an hour before your meeting starts on the odd chance that you're going to run into a problem and have to futz around with the uh, control panel settings, come back in here, run this a couple times. Um, again, it doesn't happen all that often, but it has been known to happen on occasion. So we've tested it and we know that the microphone is working properly now, so we click Next and it's going to ask to test the silence. And what this will try to do is filter out the background noise around you, the ambient noise of maybe your, your computer hard drive spinning, making noise, the air conditioning or the heating. Um, and so if you allow it to test the silence, the system will attempt to compensate for that. And you can see the test is complete. And we're going to click Next. And we're finished. And I don't recommend at this point touching the advanced settings. Generally, if you can make it through this process, everything's going to work just fine. So we click Finish. And we have just gone through the process of tuning our audio. And it should work quite well now. Um, and that's all we wanted to cover in this little short uh, screencast. If, for more advanced users, we'll uh, produce a screencast that takes a look at some of the other settings you can manage. But the most critical one when you're starting out and the most critical one throughout your duration of using Adobe Connect will be the audio settings and being able to effectively manage your audio and run the setup wizard each time and discover any issues 
before your meeting is set to commence.